We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation to avoid new nuclear attacks against us. Command chose the only viable course of action, to play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, well, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we're traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people around Moscow, like our team always wanted. Wait a moment, what was that? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18 Where was that number supposed to be? So, it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So, the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. 
It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the <laughs> <laughs> By the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come on. How about on. Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. It sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Uh, Full steam uh, ahead. Uh, wow, that's yeah. some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they? while we were eating each other alive in the metro. We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? anything off yet darling <laughs> here let's warm you up a little bit so what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are it's the only thing on my father's mind how to earn his forgiveness get back to Metro and his old life the life you had always been running from and to think I never believed you and now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Shots fired! Four bogeys on a trolley!
it, Artyom! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for the Let's go, Artyom. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. To a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Am I not trustworthy anymore? I'm telling you, it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter. Sure thing. Well, that's all. Good luck, guys. Chemicals come first. Booze, fertilizer, shit like that. Then, of course, nuts, bolts, and other scrap. I like that stuff, and you can make basic. I gotta say, anything. that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? We must have given them a good scare. They served the enemy, enslaved or something.
Lithium. What are you doing here? The church is over there. Face that way and run. Hurry up.
Finally. There's a boat at the dock. Looks like it's the locals' preferred method of transportation. All right. I'll climb up there while you take the boat and row to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful message. But he absorbs those who reject the folly and temptation of electricity and other sinful lures of the enemy. And to those who falter, he grants salvation. As he Exile them! Let them repent! Patience, brothers and sisters! Patience and tolerance! For ye must accept thy neighbors like the Lord accepts thee! To truly turn their hearts from sin towards the heavenly bliss of true faith! So let us forgive the child! For she knows not the folly of her words. 
Let us forgive, brothers. Let us pray for the souls of the sinners. And let us forgive the child as the Lord forgives us. Amen. Embrace salvation. Reject the folly and the sin. Embrace salvation. Amen. Amen. Reject the folly and the sin. Embrace salvation. Amen. Amen. Reject the folly and the sin. The bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silencio has fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nati and I can get to your train guard. I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine.
You heretic, run and hide! You can't run from your fate, though! <gasps> you He's here, here, brother! He's here, He's here, He's here. Here. some sleep before tonight's mass? God save me! Brothers! There's a party here! We're under attack! I'll be sending one heretic to be judged pretty soon. Pretty soon, indeed. Curses! The heretic's not here. When did he manage to get away, I wonder? I'll ask him when I get him. The heretic thinks he is hiding, brothers! Let us prove once and for all that no satanic trickery can save him from the light of the true faith!
punish the head of soon. Punish him for his insolence. Punish him justly. <gasps> I see a dirty heretic! Who shall be saved? Oh, I hope he doesn't kill me. Uh, if he doesn't seem that wild thirsty, maybe he won't. That's it! I give up! Don't shoot! For it is the peacemaker who shall be saved! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh, my God. And even more so, save and protect our holy sage Salantius. The true shepherd of the faithful, for he is a...
and more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the call. <laughs> How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. 
I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. <laughs> landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. But really, what difference does that make anyway? I'm not getting to Moscow from here yet. That's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others, they have relatives there. It's been 10 years, but they still be alive. Anyways, We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to live and see about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Here's our team back from the abyss of NATO <sighs> You're occupation. <alive. laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hi, Artyom. Found the occupying forces yet? Oh. Grab them by their tails when you do. <laughs> Actually, I don't think a single man from NATO would ever be here. Save for me, of course. <laughs> the thing is, what would they even do here? Guess they could bomb the bridge if they wanted. Why set up a base here? They'd be in a city, not in this hellhole. If they even wanted to come. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. They were so busy looking for you. And then Anna picked us up. Yes, Uncle Artyom. Thank you. And your wife is great. She's kind and really strong. Thank you, Auntie Anna. There you go, Artyom. As I always said, you lucked out with me. We all lucked out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with us too. With a real medic, we'd become unstoppable. <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Artyom, stop by my desk Thank once you. you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. So, Katya, where are you uh, from? The southern Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga, so we made the journey. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you should go talk to him now. He did seem to want something. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Artyom, come there. over here, please. What do I even talk Great about? job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. <sighs> there might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. <sighs> in any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. I've got to fix this one, and I don't even know where to start. It uh, usually takes a whole workshop to fix things like that. So you're going to the port to look for that mechanic? Uh, please, do your best. Otherwise, we might as well get used to this place.
There were 15 of us, but now only Nasty and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Hey, why are you so gloomy? Don't you like the tea? I do. Oh, when the gargoyle attacked, Nastya lost her teddy. The beast carried it away. Uh, must have thought it was alive. Oh, don't you worry. We'll find your teddy. Huh, we call them demons in Moscow. And you call them gargoyles. Yes, where did those things crawl out from, I wonder? Well, there's radiation, chemical weapons and stuff. Nature just went... How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you, here. A TR rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. They live in darkness and die just like that, reading with disease. I'm a trained nurse, but Silantius wouldn't even hear of me treating anyone. He said God claims his own. By the way, Alyosha, my friend, that Katya lady Anna brought in? She's a nurse, so maybe you should have a look at her room. <laughs> no dice. Stepan's all over her with his rugged charm. They haven't got a chance. <laughs>